Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this premium quality badge using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. So before we start, we need a new document. So for that, we go to the top, we go to File, New. I'm going to use my usual 1920 by 1080 or 300 dpi but you can use any dimensions that you want and the only thing remember just to uncheck transparent background if this is checked and we click OK and we have our new document. Now before we continue we go to, to the top and we go to view and we select make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Perfect, with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to use uh, to start the, the design is I'm going to uh, use on my tool uh, what is called the cloud tool. So I'm coming here to more or less to the center. Remember to hit command or control shift click and drag so we create a proportional shape. I'm going to here at the top where it says bubbles, I'm going to create 70, quite a few of them. And now if you come here to this red dot that we have here, let me let me show you a little bit better there, that, that one that is there, I'm going to, when it's a circle, uh, basically is fully round and I'm going to make it a little bit less something like that will be fine perfect now I'm going to change the color of this and for that I'm going to use 213-5038 so that is going to be my one of my main colors now I'm going to create the circle here and I'm going to write in the middle again, command or control, shift, click and drag, more or less very close to the border, but not close enough. I think that they will be fine. I'm going to eliminate the field and the stroke. I'm going to use five pixels, should be fine. And the color, I'm going to give it white. So let's move it like this. And just that I'm here now, I'm going to create a duplicate of this ellipse. You will see later on. And I'm going to choose the second one. Shift, select the cloud as well. And let's command J to create a group. Perfect. Now let's go for those kind of rays that you see in the, in the original one. For that, I'm going to first move this one there on the side. And now I'm coming here to my top ruler or the horizontal one. I'm going to click and drag. And when you get into the canvas, there you have one of those guidelines. I'm going to put it there on the middle for now. And I'm going to select the square. I'm going to click and drag to make a square, something like this. The size doesn't matter that much, but what we need is this one to be very perfectly centered there. We are fine there. I'm going to change this my stroke for one pixel and I'm going to change the color to black so I can see what I'm doing. Perfect. Now that we are there, I think it is will be fine. Let me make it a little bit bigger there. And I'm going to here to my context toolbar and I'm going to convert to curves. Now I'm going to select my node tool. I'm going to select one, either one, it doesn't matter of these nodes and I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard and then is I'm going to move it up and basically snap it to that uh, guideline that created uh, before. Now I'm going to select my tool, uh, move tool and I'm going to click on my guideline and just move it away from the canvas and just disappear. Now here with that triangle selected. I'm coming here to my context toolbar and I'm going to choose uh, or click enable transform origin. So it brings the actual origin uh, there and I'm going to click and drag just to make it put it right there in the middle. Perfect. Now that I got it there, I'm going to hit command or control J on the keyboard. Now I'm coming here to the handle to rotate shift 
and move it one so shift allows you to move in increments of 15 degrees so i'm going to move just only one and then it's ctrl j a few times until you basically have a full semicircle what i'm going to do is i'm going to click drag and select all those lines and i'm going to select my node tool i'm going to come in here now to select all of them there is very tricky so what you do is you hit alt on your keyboard click and drag and you see that line that i'm doing there so i select all those ones there now i'm going to click and hit shift on my keyboard so i move just only one axis and i'm going to drag it something like this i think they will be fine so what I'm going to do now is come in here to my geometry at the top bar and I'm going to hit the add and so it becomes just only one curve. So now I'm going to click drag and select to absolutely everything and I'm coming here I'm going to select align to margin. So align to margin basically is aligned to the margins of my uh, canvas. So if I hit middle and middle, basically everything is right in the middle. If I choose to one side, it's, uh, now it's on the left, now it's on the right. So I'm going to click done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my curve, my ellipse, and I'm coming here to my geometry. I'm going to click intersect. So basically now we have just only that outline. I'm going to my fill and I'm going to give the color of 1 to 1, 50, 49, if I'm not mistaken, yes, perfect day. And I'm going to get rid of the stroke. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it underneath that circle. So now we have that, those rays that appear there. Good, now that we have all this, let's start with the 100 that we have in here, 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on my artistic tool and I'm going to create something like this, it's fine. And I'm going to type 100%. Okay, so now that we have this 100%, uh, I'm going to select the font, it's called Emblema 1, and I'm going to make it roughly 42 points, something like that will be fine, perfect. Now, with this one like this, I'm going to create two more duplicates, okay, now I'm going to click and select all of them, and I'm going to group, I create a group. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first one or the top one and I'm going to make it white and I'm going to take the last one and I'm going to make it white as well. So now is let's back to the one that is at the top and I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six to the top one, two, three, four, five, six hits on the arrow keys to the left and then the one in the middle i'm going to do half so it's one two three top and to the left one two three perfect now that we have that one like this i'm going to select this and i'm going to drag here on the on the side so i can move it like this so i can change the shape of that perfect and i'm coming here and i'm going to put it somewhere there maybe a little bit less something like that i think it will be fine perfect and the other thing that i'm going to do now is i'm going to put an effect outer shadow so let me give it something like a, that radius the offset and then the intensity so something like that should be fine perfect now that we have that part out of the way let's go for the crown let's go for this crown we have one two three four five spikes so what i'm going to do is you come here to your tools and you select a uh, star so i'm going to create a star something like that the shape doesn't matter and let's make it 12 i think it is 12 spikes is fine select convert to curves select your node tool now hitting alt i'm going to click and drag through all the ones that i want to select are all those ones are the bottom and i'm going to hit delete so now it creates that line 
and let me zoom in what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the middle and drag hold a second there we go click and drag so it makes curve now I'm going to hit alt click and drag now come here to the transform and hit that one that says transform mode so now we can click and select and drag everything down a little bit there and the fill color I'm going to give it white so I'm going to click and drag and put it here somewhere in the middle then we can see I think it's too big let me make it a little bit smaller something like that is fine perfect so we are almost getting to the end now we need to make that ribbon that comes here at, at, at the bottom maybe this one make it a little bit bigger and move it a little bit down there it's perfect let me make that one bigger and put it right there in the middle good now that we are there I'm going to here to my tools and I'm going to select this square or rectangle I'm going to click and drag to make a rectangle something like this okay I think that will be fine I'm going to change the colors just the color for now is just only to see what I'm doing okay because you'll see there is quite a few um, there is uh, different copies of the same thing so I'm going to hit this one command J I'm going to hit command or control on my keyboard click and drag and make it a little bit wider I'm going to change now the color now let's put something blue like this or violet whatever I'm going to move it down something like that and I'm going to send it almost to the there we go almost down to the bottom now I'm going to take this green one and I'm going to hit command or control J again so I get another copy I'm going to change the color back again let me put something like a yellow and this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit um, narrow so again remember to hit command or control so you can move these two handles they move um, in opposite direction so I think I'm going to do something like that should be fine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom handle there and I'm going to make it quite wide don't worry you'll see just now so what I'm going to do is hit shift and I'm going to select the one that is at the bottom okay that one purple and now in my geometry I'm going to hit subtract so basically I got that dot those two squares what I'm going to do now I'm going to select my node tool I'm going to hit somewhere there doesn't matter where I'm going to align it now um, so now I got when you hit you create another handle I'm going to click drag and select and I'm going to align uh, um, space vertically and I'm going to do the same on this other side so basically is I know that is right in the middle I'm going to click to unselect click again and I'm going to hit the middle one shift and I'm going to select the other one now back again we come here to transform and select transform now now select either one doesn't matter hitting shift or com uh, sorry command or control click and drag so as you can see we are making both exactly the same without the need of moving one or recreating or duplicating the things and so on and so forth perfect now that we got it there what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and bring this one to the front perfect up to there now let's put the premium quality text in here and for that one what I'm going to do is I'm going to click uh, select my artistic tool click and drag and I'm going to put premium quality it's too big now but don't worry and we're going to fix that one now first of all let's change the font and the font that we're going to use is called Abro that one there I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and let's bring it here so I can see what I'm doing perfect so I'm going to keep doing it smaller until it fits in there let me make it a little bit smaller now what I've done is I move it somewhere there and then I click and drag it to make it a little bit uh, 
taller and then drag it just to make or oh, select that one there and let's align it to last selected and to the middle last selected to the middle so now we are completely sure that is right there uh, sorry I need to learn how to spell premium there we go now I need to center back again there is no problem let's go there oh come on there we go and right in the middle perfect so now that we have all that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the two starts that goes into the into the sides what I'm going to do this one is actually we can make it a little bit bigger like this I think they will be fine perfect so the starts I'm going to make it quite small so I'm going to select the start tool I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to leave that color for now I need to come here and make it smaller something like that will be perfect I think yeah I think they will be fine hit alt click and drag so I'm going to move it to the other Oopa. sorry it's not that let me take that one out so perfect so now as you can see both are in the mid that one is in the middle there perfect and this one now should be in the middle there so they are spaced equally and I'm going to click and select both and I'm coming here to my color and I'm going to change that one to white perfect now we need to create the, the small gap that goes in here uh, so what I'm going to do for that is I'm coming to my let me select that one hit the hit the and create just a triangle that will be fine and I'm going to change the fill to black and I'm going to take the stroke out perfect now that we are there I'm going to hit command J to duplicate and I'm going to flip horizontal and I'm going to click and drag it until it match in depth that should be fine let me see let's zoom in to make sure that what I'm saying is true perfect day take a day we are the perfect almost day now we are perfect day fantastic now I'm going to select the color for this green one I'm going to change it to something else and that color let me see I'm going to change it to let's double click in there perfect so I'm going to change this for 353 then 32 then 50, uh, sorry 57 so we are fine there and for this one day I'm going to use I think is uh, let me see if this one is the correct 33 50 38 no that one is for something else so sorry I'm going to use the same color than this one there we go let me use exactly the same one uh, sorry before we go there what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit darker I think it's somewhere there will be fine perfect now that we have that I'm going to click and drag we are almost finished and I'm going to group it and now you come to the side and so I'm going to move vertically just only this side and I'm going to move something like that and I'm going to move it there is fine perfect so now something that we can do to give it some more um, a better effect is this black thing uh, these corners there to be underneath so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup all this I'm going to select this group and I'm going to start moving it up let's move it up until the perfect so now this one and this one they need to move to the top and this one and this one they can move down one let's move down another one let's move down another one fantastic there we are so basically it seems like it's actually behind and what happened with my 100% uh, premium no that one this one day this one day 
we need to move them to the top perfect so basically there we are let me take that one there maybe this one and move it a little bit up so it matches the angle of the other one this one and basically we are done that's it for today as you can see let me make a group and like I always do I change the background so I hit on my square tool click and drag to cover the entire canvas let's go there and for this one I'm going to use yeah 33 50 38 I'm going to use that one so I'm going to move it down and that gives a little bit of like a um, vintage type of uh, look so basically that's how you can create a quick and easy 100% quality premium uh, batch or a premium batch for anything that you require okay i think that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching to for being up to here please remember to subscribe to like to share to leave any comment anything that if you have any ideas or something that you want me to explore please leave the comment in the section down below and anyway like always thank you very much for watching once again and like always see you in the next video